Hello my drippy hippies and welcome back to another episode of this camper van conversion series. Just before we get into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. In this episode, we're going to be building some boxing ins, which will just tie some areas off nicely. So, let's crack on with it. I wasn't quite sure I was going to do the bulkhead, so I've just been playing about with a couple of pieces of wood. This is my first piece of wood that I've come up with. I've had to shape it in round these corners here and on this side. I've also shaped it in, as you can see there, round the, the locking system of the doors. I've also give that a nice little router just to finish it off. I've also put a nice mitre on this so when the other one comes down you'll only see one little tiny join and it'll look smart so that's for the underneath bit which will go there i've also made a face as you can see and that's got the mitre on which will that will just tuck up There, like so to fix these down I'm just going to put a couple of little blocks of timber along the edge there which will then fix into the ceiling as you can see I've already put them along that edge and that will just screw the two boards together from the face to the bottom Just put some simbers in, as you can see. And they just that's just gotta be my fixing points. And there's the board. And then same that side. Just timbers in. In here. And there's the fixing points. And then just gonna put loads of glue there all the way down. Some no nail glue, same that side as well. So I'll just cut these one, two triangle pieces, and they will just fit up into the corner like so. And I'll just tie that end off nicely. And I've also got one to go down this end. Just tie that off nicely as well. So I just thought I'd throw a little cheeky action onto the video. Um just gonna box him round the wheel arches, tidy that area off. And um, think it'll just fit in nicely with doing the um, bulkhead and them little reveals. So I've got it there. Uh, just gonna put a boxing in right the way along there so it's gonna start at the bed which will be about where that joint is in the timber there it'll come across as well as tight as i can get it to the wheel arch obviously square and then here it's gonna kick back in to that corner so it'll be on a bit of a chamfer and i just think it'll look nice when you open the back doors It'll be all be nice and tight like. And then I'll repeat that process on this side of the van. But it might be a little bit different around this bit because I've got my gas and whatnot. So we'll just have to see. So I've just got these pieces of wood cut. Uh, they just need to be screwed on. Then I'll cut a top piece big enough and then just grind around it. Slap it on. Bob's your uncle. Just 
down this little off cut in my scrap wood pile so I'm just going to pop it on scrap round the underneath and then go and cut it and hopefully it fits perfect So that just needs a little screw down now. Um, just box that in, just ties it off nicely. Got no little hidden gaps there. No little hidden gaps there. So this should just flow out nicely. My bed will be in there. Same that side, so it'll all look nice and uniform. And it'll look spot on. The set test. <laughs> So we uh, just built this, so it's just wedged all that in nicely. So as you can see, them in place now. <coughs> and then uh, I'm going to build another one of them, just to sit in tightly there. And then uh, run the timbers across, that should wedge it down, fix it into there, that's all solid behind there. And then just run timbers and box all that in then. Nicely. Quite a bit of a complicated uh, boxing in this one. Um, I've had to fix my batteries in so they can't move. But um, I've also got a step involved in this, so I've got to build a support for the step. Because that's this is going to be my bed area, so that'll be the step to get onto the bed. And also, I'm going to make this front panel so it slides up, so we can get into the batteries um, as and when I need to. I was going to make it so they open up the doors, but if you've got stuff in the garage area, you know, I'd have to empty the whole garage out where I can just, hopefully, I should just be able to lift them up, be able to get in work to the batteries and then move away from it. Which would be <coughs> ideal, like, what I'm hoping. And then... I've also had to put a vent hole in for the batteries. Um, I've also got a vent here for my gas. I'm going to have to split this off. So I'm going to have to split the gas off from the batteries. So that's going to be its own separate box in it with a lift off lid so I can get in and work to that. And then this will all be boxed in the same as this. Um, just a quick tip. <coughs> I've marked out where my battens are going to go and then I've just pre-drilled the hole through to the other side now I'll go to the other side and um, countersink where the screw heads are going to sit and then I can fire the screws through into the battens like so I'll just have to hold them up fire them in nice and easy finish flush to the edge of that so when you step through when you step through the other side your foot will go on it and then you can step onto the bed then just knock these three pieces of wood up as well just gonna come across down and then one across there just cre creates boxing in for this ready to be boarded like I said before just so I can split the, the batteries and the gas up also just contains that gas area a bit more these type of gases that come off are a lot heavier in the air so you put vents in the floor and that should drop out if there's any leaks because if it does leak you don't want this filling up and then you go kaboom <laughs>
Sembra, te sembra. Ah, te sembra. Just, um, because I realised I had, when I put this top board on, that would have just slopped. There was no way for it to sit. Clean that end. So I put them on. Now, I'm just got, I've just i just cut this board. See, I'm not going to show, keep showing you videos and me cutting straight pieces of wood, like, because that's just boring. <laughs> Even I can't be asked watching myself do it, like, so. That's just going to sit on there. This does actually tilt down. So, that'll go on there. So, I'm just going to fix that down now. And then once that's fixed into place, And then, and then I'm just going to take your pencil, scrub the back, and then I'll cut that nicely with the jigsaw. I'll just go and cut this with the jigsaw, and just like the Terminator, I'll be back. Just got back, um, just slot this in place nicely now. As you can see, that is another spot on fit by me. So, what my plan is now, um, I've got this little thin button. I'm just gonna fix it down the edge there, along the bottom, and then with this here, I'm just going to fix a piece which will overlap half the half, or just a little bit, um, and just go down there, and then what the idea is, this will have handles on, and it will be able to slide up, get into your batteries, Slide back down, just like that. I'm turning into what hot up. That just slots in nicely. Just needs a little handle put on it so it can easy access as and when I need to. Um, now I'm just going to um, <coughs> box this in, same as I've done the other side. So I'm not going to um, bore you by showing you what I've already done again because you've already seen what I've done to start in the video. So yeah, here we go. So I'll catch back up with you after the time with this little wheel action. I hope you have enjoyed this episode just as much as I have doing these boxing ins. So on that note, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned, stay active, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.